I've already done some of that on this, this piece of plastic here. If you look at me I, I'm gouging out the plastic, that's similar to what would happen on the front of this device of plastic. And then you come over here to Gorilla Glass, right? You try and scratch that, and they really lean it into it here. Right? You, can't, you can't really scratch it. Enjoy the show. Right? Yeah. Now, it's not scratch proof, right? Even Gorilla Glass can't get scratched on it, but you get a significant difference between this and uh, plastic. So, there were glasses on the market at the time, right? Legacy glass is called Soda Lime. Right? So, Soda Lime is, this, these are glasses very similar in composition to the glass you see, um, sorry, in your, uh, your windows at home. Right? Okay. Regular old glass. So, I have a piece of that here. This is non strengthened Soda Lime glass. Right? So, I'm going to put this on here and let you take a look at this. Use this little stylus to go and just press down on there and try and break it. Again, yeah, this is non strengthened Legacy glass. Ooh, so it didn't take that. much at all. It didn't take much, right? So now, legacy glass can be strengthened also, right? So we take a piece and now this legacy glass and actually strengthen it through a chemical strengthening process called ion exchange. Now go ahead and press on that one and see what that feels like. A little, bit, a little harder, right? A little harder. So, put these away. Now, let's take a piece of Gorilla glass. You see my right? Turning right, yeah. There, yeah. right, so you pretty tough. Yeah. Right. Now again, like it's not unbreakable. Yeah. So you sit there with a sledgehammer and you, you could break the glass, but you get the point. It takes a significant amount of force. Right? So wildly successful at one dimension. Um, great market penetration. Over six hundred devices has been designed in, six hundred million total devices have been sold in the marketplace with real glass on it's been launched in two thousand seven. Right? So, really good story for morning. Now, as we talk to our customers, right, we actually hear where their product direction is going, where they want to go with it. So, uh, probably not surprising you, which one will fit Right? So, we developed Gorilla Glass 2. Right? And the primary uh, pitch for Gorilla Glass 2 is to be made um, in the parts and you can reduce the thickness up to 20%. Right. And not sacrifice any performance. Mm -hmm. right, so customers really like that. Yeah. So we so get now, better devices, right? Or better devices. Yes. Yeah, so you can either have make a device thinner itself by reducing the, the cover glass, or you can actually put more functionality into the phone with that additional space you've now made. Better battery, camera, chip. You know. Whatever. Yeah. And we just saw that on even on the HP Spectre. Right. Right. So you can do all kinds of all kinds of good things here. So, we've introduced it to customers, it's, it's gone real well, most, uh, just about every big customer has been sampled, and uh, under evaluation, evaluations are going well, we expect transition to go on throughout the first half of this year. So, it's Josh Smith with GottaBeMobile.com, we're here at CES 2012, and we're checking out Gorilla Glass 2, we're going to see some strength comparison between some legacy glass, and all the way up from that to Gorilla Glass to Gorilla Glass 2. So we're here with Jamin, and he's going to walk us through. Perfect. So I'll start by resetting my lever press here. Okay. Okay. So this is a lever press. Here, what we've done with the glass is we've abraded the glass with silicon carbide particles, and by abrading the glass, we introduce damage to the glass. We try and mimic the kind of damage that a phone would see inside a person's pocket or in a purse. Okay. Okay. I'll start with non-strength and silver lime glass. This is a 1.1 millimeter thing. Okay. Put it in this press. I push down and see at what force the glass breaks. Okay. So the glass is weakened because of the abrasions. Right? 45 pounds. Okay. Non-strength and silver lime. I'll move on to strength and silver lime glass. This is the same glass, but it's been strengthened, chemically strengthened. This is again at 1.1 millimeters. I'll reset my handy dandy meter here. Okay. 80 pounds. Okay. This is Gorilla Glass. This is the glass that's the first generation of Gorilla Glass. It's the glass that's out in the market. It's on over 600 devices. Okay. It's a really popular glass and the best glass in the industry, okay? So again, at one millimeter, it's already about 10% thinner than this glass over here, right? <coughs> okay. 
Okay. 105 pound. 108. You can't break the glass. Okay. One millimeter gorilla glass. Okay. So we've now got gorilla glass two. Right. We've taken our own glass. We've innovated on top of it in order to be able to go thinner, provide more damage resistance to the glass, and that allows us to go thinner. Okay. So again, I'll. Uh, I'll reset this. Okay. This glass is 20% thinner than Gorilla Glass 1. And that 20% thinner is just as tough. Okay. What? That's Gorilla Glass 2. 